Hey, let's go thrifting. So uh, what do we do when we gain some weight and our pants don't fit anymore? We buy new pants. So let's get ready. Let's go thrifting. I'm taking you with me in my favorite spot here in LA. Here we go. So I got to do laundry, so we're going to keep it super simple. Uh, we're just going to wear these high-waisted trousers. They're one of the few things that still fit and just a white t-shirt. When you are thrifting, this is probably just super common sense. You want to wear stuff that is easy to take on and off so you can easily put on other things. You realistically want to try to wear things that you are going to be wearing with whatever you're buying. So an undershirt is great. If you're shopping for tops, some pants that you like, wear the type of shoes that you'd normally wear. You know, if you're looking for some like wide flare jeans, maybe bring some boots. If you're looking for shorts and you know you're gonna wear open toe, maybe something like that, you know? So we're gonna keep it super simple. We've got an extremely tight white tee. <laughs> that is perfect for undershirts. Not so for everything else. And we've got the freaking trousers. So what are we looking to buy today? We are looking to buy some pants that fit, preferably anything high-waisted so I can get over this tum-tum we got going on. Uh, and I wouldn't say no to some oversized tees, maybe some I can turn into some crops. First, however, as best as I can, I try to have a one-in, one-out policy. For the first time in my life, I actually have like a large closet. I'm trying not to overfill it. So this looks like a lot, but this has been everything I've been collecting probably over the last six months. We're gonna drop it off at my friend's Kevin's house. He's a little bit smaller than me, so most of the stuff should fit him. So yeah, we're gonna drop these off. We're gonna hit the post office, uh, my P.O. box, and we'll go thrifting. Let's go. Here is the whip, the 2013 Corolla. Don't look at my license plate, you nerds. Uh, we, 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 can, we can see in though. Oh, your boy needs to clean this. We got the coat. We got the martini glasses that my mother gave me that I haven't done anything with. We got the disc golf discs. We got some cleats. We've got some other paraphernalia. Let's go. Welcome inside the car, kiddos. Hello. We've got the leftover in and out cup. We've got six milk duds. We've got our wallet that we were really hoping was in here. And you know, we got the baby. So we're ready to go. Let's go see my friend Kevin. Freeway things. Look how crazy LA is. There's three cars all trying to get into the, this is gonna be just one lane. And there's three people that are like, let's be here. Let's not. This is like an improv building. Look how terrifying this is. Oh. Oh. We have moved over to the voiceover portion of this video. I love this thrift store. Did you see all the sales? They're constantly having sales. But uh, this is just me checking out their suits on the sidewalk. I think I thought that those sleeves were like way too short and that wasn't gonna work. But look how cool the shop is. They have like film paraphernalia. So how this place works is all of the stuff they get are offshoots from TV and film. So you can actually see this from NCIS, which I just worked on. So this is like all the stuff they would have clothed on like the background actors or the extras or whatever. Uh, and as you can see, they have just like a bunch of different stuff. I just kind of go through, we're, we're here for pants, but of course, immediately found the find of the century. Look at the baby blue. It's so pretty. Oh, look, I'm so freaking excited. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you know, I always put the things on my arm, and by the end of the day, I had like a bunch of like scuff marks. Oh, tennis mom, you know I had to cop. You already know I had to cop, bro. Uh, the jock strap, mm, not a cop, not a cop. I don't even know why I was touching it. I was feeling bold. Here's some pleated trousers. I really like these, but um, they just they just didn't quite do it for me. I feel like they just sat like a little bit too low. They kind of made me look a little frumpy. So they didn't do it for me, but I did love the color. No, no go. Uh, couldn't even get these on. Pants days are tough. Panther, you have to just commit. But look at that podonk. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we're doing a little time lapse here. Just trying stuff on. I do not like skinny tapered pants anymore. These actually wound up being a buy, a purchase. They're they're a little bit too big, but I like them. And look at like I can't. I go in for pants. I can't help myself, man. I got, I see a nice little button down. I got put on. I got roll up them sleeves. I got little got little tippy taps. Oh my god, look at these shorts. Who did, who did, who did, not those ones, these ones. Nope, move them out of the way, brother, what are you doing? I mean, those were some fun pockets, but look at that, that's like, 
<laughs> it's like Jersey Shore trying to do something. They even have a second story. This place is the best. It's called It's a Wrap. If you're ever in LA, you got to check it out. And look at this thing I found. Oh, my God. What in the Narnia? Uh, this, we're trying on shorts this time. We're trying to get ready for Hoochie Daddy Summer. But, oh, man, the jorts. I know that they're, like, in style, but it just wasn't. Just wasn't gonna work for me. Just no. Okay, we found these little, found these little boys, little popper boys with the little give them a little cuff up, and then uh, you know those were purchased. These were purchased as well. Just some black jeans. I wish they were like a true black. Uh, you know these actually looked good, but I I decided not to get some. I think they were just like slightly too tight, and I I was already worried about gaining more weight because that's why we're here in the first place. These were purchased. Look, what happy little dancey dance. We found some. These I did buy. Some beautiful corduroy. I think they're like Old Navy or whatever. But you guys are going to see the price at the end. I get a whole bunch of stuff. I spent like 50 bucks, I think, for all this. Oh, look at me. Look at my little happy dance. I was so stoked for these like vintage Levi's. Like you can't even like look at the back. Like you can't even see it. And they're supposed to be a 34. And they're holding up so well. Couldn't, couldn't even get it past one thigh. Men's pants sizes are really Ridiculous. Like I've been trying on these, these have all been like 31 to 34 and there's there's no consistency. So look at this. This this will eventually be my haul. I found this. It's like almost like a it's like one of those uh, like long sleeve collar. Why in the world? <laughs> and that's it. Now we're gonna be back in the car, guys. Okay, cool. bucks. All of this. All of this. Good. So I was talking to the lady. He was bringing me up because their system was down. It was taking forever. This whole lady, she's doing it by hand. And uh, as I'm leaving, I'm like, yeah, you know, I gained a little weight, so you know, I'm, I'm doing like skin and books and stuff, whatever. But she, as I'm leaving, she's like, we have to brown this. I'm like, damn, son. I'm All right, that was successful. Let's count how many items we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 items, 65 bucks. We got like four pairs of pants, couple of flannel shirts, couple of shorts, a hat, bunch of stuff, guys. All right, try on haul, part two, another time. Thanks for joining us today.